Okay. So in yesterday's class, we have uh, seen some introduction about the uh, database, right? So what is a um, traditional file system and uh, some introduction to the database and all. And also yesterday class, we um, completed the topic we look up. So hope my screen is visible. Rajesh, is that visible? Yes, okay. So this is these are all the topics which we are going to cover today. Okay. Before that, I'll just go and brush up the topics which we have seen in the previous class. So these are all the um, disadvantages of the file system, data isolation, lack of relationship. So these are all the disadvantages of a file system, a traditional file system, which we have seen yesterday. And uh, previous history of uh, DBMS, why we are moving to DBMS and then what are all the applications of DBMS. We are using DBMS in bank, airline, telecommunications and everywhere. And uh, also advantages of uh, DBMS over uh, the file system, right? So data consistency and we can able to do concurrent operation, backup, uh, data independence, everything we have seen. And also uh, with the help of uh, some example in excel i have shown you everything in yesterday's class right so why we are moving to what is the difference between dbms and rdbms and why we are moving from dbms to rdbms so in uh, any single modification we cannot able to track so it can be broken down into smaller pieces of uh, uh, table in rdbms and we can able to keep the relationship we can maintain the relationship between them so these are all the things which you have seen and also advantages of the RDBMS. <coughs> and why we are moving to the RDBMS reason also I have told you. And to maintain all this and to control all these things, we need a SQL, right? SQL is nothing but a structured query language. And using this language, we can able to query the table, okay? Um, uh, it might be one table or a number of a table. We can able to make a relationship among the table and we can able to query the table and we can get some information from the database file by issuing the query, okay? This is the SQL which we have seen yesterday. And introduction to the Postgres also. Postgres is nothing but a relations, uh, relational database management. Uh, so using this, uh, uh, it it's an open source, uh, we can make use of it. And uh, we have uh, seen the basic things uh, about uh, the Postgres. Uh, 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 for, uh, I think uh, on Wednesday or uh, Tuesday, I completed the basic things, right? We will, don't worry, we will see it today also, okay? So these are all the Excel topic which we covered. And these are the three topics which uh, are pending and it will take uh, only 10 minutes to cover, okay? Today I will cover that also. Okay, these are the topics which we are going to see today. So the first one is uh, how to remove null values uh, in the Excel. So why we need to remove null values? What is the uh, advantage of removing null values we got? So let us see. So here is the... Uh, Okay, I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to copy paste this or else, uh, okay, I'll just paste this some more cells and I'm going to leave some null values there. Okay, see, I have deliberately deleted all these things. Okay, so this is the data, assume that this is the data which you received with some null values. Okay, so without this batsman, without this batsman column, uh, it, uh, is, is there any meaning to uh, see the balls and runs without the batsman name? So it is not giving the some meaningful information through this. So it is uh, appropriate to remove the null values from this. So how to remove the null values from this? Just go to, so for initially you have to select from where, uh, from which range I have to remove the null values. After selecting this, go to home and uh, find select go to, to special so in this special okay in this special dialog box you uh, you can click the blanks okay so what i want to do it in special i want to remove the blanks okay so this blank will select the 
uh, blank spaces which are uh, uh, inside this range. Okay. And after clicking OK, see, you can see it has selected all the blank. Just go there and right click and delete. What I want to delete after that, after deleting, I want to, I want to delete the entire row because the entire row is uh, uh, meaningless without the batsman column. Right. So I want to delete the entire row. So now you can see it will delete all the entire row. Okay. So it uh, within that range, within that given range, it uh, deleted all the null values. So you can see this is the uh, with null values and this is without null values. Okay. So this is the way which you can able to remove all the null values in the Excel. So this is a very simple example, but um, while doing the data cleaning, before you in you uploading your data into the database, the data cleaning is very much important. Of course, you can able to do all the cleaning process in the Postgres also, but <coughs> it's up to your comfortable zone. If the data is very less within the 10 lakhs or um, within some uh, MB of data you are going to clean, you can use Excel also to clean your data. Okay, otherwise you just upload everything in the uh, Postgres database and you can able to clean there also okay so this is a one way of uh, uh, cleaning the data okay so removing the null values is one among them and uh, what is the next thing which we are going to see is removing the duplicates okay uh, consider this okay i'm going to okay here you can see there are many duplicates in the in this particular table right lee this particular lee data uh, record uh, repeated three times the same record has repeated three times right <coughs> so i want to remove this so if it is a very small uh, data set i can remove it manually but um, just imagine if you have 10 lakhs of records 20 lakhs of records you can't go and uh, see each and every individual thing okay in order to remove in that way in order to remove that i need to choose in what uh, column i need to remove the uh, duplicate first thing you need to choose the column okay so i have choose the column it, it might be one or two column or any number of column on within any range okay you can able to remove that so i want everything only okay from this match to batsman i want to remove the duplicates okay i want to remove the duplicates among all these four columns okay so i have choose the uh, column and <clears throat> select the column range <clears throat> and go to the data okay go to the data so here you can see this uh, remove duplicate option okay see uh, here it will ask for whether you want to remove the duplicates from uh, regarding to the all the columns or any one or two so i want all the columns only okay so it will you can see uh, it has removed that particular it with respect to all the four column this lee record repeated twice repeated thrice right so it will remove it kept the original one and remove the duplicates okay this is uh, one of the way to clean your data okay this is one of the process to remove um, all the duplicates and the null values okay so by doing this you can able to Cover most of the um, data processing, pre-processing things insert your uh, database. Okay, so this is the cleanup process before installing. Before uh, installing, sorry, before uh, going to the Postgres, these are all the important step you need to know. Okay, so now I'm going to compare the two columns. Okay, so next thing is compare the two columns for the duplicate column. Okay, <coughs> so let me copy paste this. And I'm comparing the see. see these are all okay. So I I just want to compare these two columns. Okay, I just want to compare these two columns whether uh, this column contain okay. Uh, you can uh, take it as a matching or duplicate. Okay. What are all the items in this uh, column matched with this column or the repeated one? 
so either thing you can able to do so in order to do that just uh, select the columns which you want and go to home okay go to home so you can use this conditional formatting okay use this conditional formatting and uh, see there are um, many uh, things if i want to uh, see whether it is a greater than what are the columns greater than the particular value lesser than a particular value so these are all the conditions which i can able to pass okay so all the conditions are applicable so equal to a date occurring okay so now i want to find the duplicates right so it will duplicate everything in the red what are all the things uh, which got uh, see all the values smith john lee everything all the values are repeated here also okay so just listen now i have entered see now i am entering some other values okay some other values and it will not uh, get highlighted so all the other things get highlighted because it is repeating in the two cells both um, in the f1 g column okay if it is not highlighted then it is not uh, uh, repeated or it is not the duplicate so this is how you need to find the duplicate among the two columns okay so hope you guys understand uh, everything understood if yes please raise your hand or uh, give thumbs up shall we move on to the postgres topic are you guys ready have you installed everything if not if no if you didn't install uh, the postgres yet so you can use some online editors also okay you can use some online editors also so just go and um, you can use uh, any online editors in google online editor postgres like that you can just type on the uh, start using now okay you have to but you have to work parallelly with me so that is important okay and tomorrow in uh, monday you have to um, uh, install everything and keep it ready and one more announcement is tomorrow you have to attend the mcq test okay i will uh, uh, give you the link uh, shortly uh, like uh, uh, previous week which you have attend you have to go to that openmentor.net uh, and uh, you have to attend the mcq it is a must okay shall we move on to the next topic if yes please raise your hand or uh, thumbs up give thumbs up so next thing is i want to show you is db design sample so before installing uh, before going to the postgres and everything <coughs> yesterday's class itself i have uh, told you about the uh, what is mean by lookup what is mean by master what is mean by um transaction and everything right so this is the sample of that before you are uh, collecting the database okay before collecting the database you have to design the structure of that what are all the columns which we need okay what are all the data types of the column which we need what are all the constraints which we need so everything you have to keep like this so already i have told you the lookup is nothing but it's like an category or a drop down okay so the company name company code and city everything uh, is under the country whether i am having uh, the vaccine track this is related to the vaccine covid vaccine tracking data set okay so <clears throat> if it is under the only 20 countries that one only 20 countries should come inside uh, okay so if it is uh, under uh, the mm -hmm. ghid uh, should be within uh, 50 uh, so it should uh, only uh, only 50 gh id and 50 district should be come inside so like that you have to um, decide it before okay these are all the drop down and these are all the master and i have already told you about the master so in the master table the um, frequency of updating things should be minimal because uh the changes which uh, it occur okay the inside the master you might have company name company id address and everything it might not change daily uh, yeah it may not change day in the daily basis so similarly for the gh uh, also the address of a gh and chief doctor name and everything it will not change uh, uh, in the daily basis but regarding to the transaction 
what are all the things you are doing in the daily basis hourly basis or uh, anything <coughs> like the, <coughs> it should come under the transaction tables okay and uh, after that you need to get the validation details also before designing the database you have to get the validation and all the relationship what are all the validation means i will let you know uh, when the class going on okay i will let you know in the upcoming classes what are all the validations we need to do for each and every field so this is the basic thing for the database design now what we are going to do is we are moving to the postgres okay we are moving to the postgres now i'm going to stop everything and uh, we are going to so before that do we have any doubts <clears throat> or it is clear or not shall we move to the next topic postgres if yes please raise your hand or give thumbs up or anything guys you need to interact okay you have to interact shall we move to the next topic if yes please give thumbs up or raise your hand Okay, one or just one or two is raising their hand. What about others? Okay. If you have any doubts, please put it in the chat box. Okay. Okay, let's move to the um, how to load first thing. Okay, in Postgres, how to load the data set which is in the CSV format or Excel format or whatever it may be. How to load the proper data set. Uh, in the uh, which is in the rows and column okay uh, in the rows and column relationship okay how to load that kind of a data set into the postgres okay using the copy command so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my postgres just after installing the postgres it will install both the pg admin and the postgres shell okay now I'm going to use uh, uh, in uh, up upcoming classes, I will tell you about the PG admin later. Okay. This is the PG admin, which you can use, make use of it. Uh, so this uh, PG admin is uh, just a, a look and feel environment. It will be like, but in uh, PSQL shell, I am comfortable with the PSQL shell. So I am using that. If you wish to use this PG admin, you can use. Okay. This PG regarding to this PG admin, it after installation of the Postgres, it will run in the local uh, host, okay, and it will run in the browser. Now I'm going to open after typing P. Just type PS. It will show you the SQL shell. Just click on it, and you can uh, server uh, uh, during installation. I didn't give any new name to the server, so it is uh, default name is local host and default. Uh, name of the database is postgres and it is running in 5432 port and the user name is uh, postgres and i have changed the, only the password okay you can change your uh, your own password you can keep your your own password so I, I have completed typing the password now you can see how it is okay i'm just increasing the font is that uh, visible my font size is okay if not, please put it in the chat box. I will increase the font size further. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is this is my, uh, let me show you the data set first. Okay. Let me show you the data set which I'm going to install inside the, uh, I'm going to load inside my Postgres. So, this is my data set and first column. Okay. Here is the first uh, row. So this first row is nothing but an, uh, my column names, book ID, title, Kindle, ebook, and Jenner author. So this data set is nothing but it contains the details of a books. Okay. Uh, uh, so I have collected some data uh, uh, regarding to the book store. Okay. Uh, if uh, um, I just want to analyze about the bookstore sales and all. Okay, so I have just collected the some of the data regarding to the bookstore. So these are the this is the one uh, data set among them. So book ID, title of the book, Kindle. So Kindle is nothing but whether my that book edition is available in the Kindle or not, and ebook 
uh, whether it is available in the ebook or not and jenner what kind of jenner is that is that a mystery or fiction or a children or what kind of jenner uh, uh, is that that particular book and author id so this uh, regarding to this author id i have kept one um, individual table for the author and i have kept all the details about the author in that and i just uh, kept uh, the uh, author id alone here for the reference it, this is the reference column author id is nothing but a reference column from the author table so what i'm going to do is now this is inside my uh, local drive path e drive path okay so i'm going to give uh, i'm going to okay here it is so this is the hope you can see my screen <clears throat> okay. here is the so before copying anything to the before uh, copy anything to the uh, postgres you have to create a table so inside postgres it should contain some physical um, uh, entity so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going Okay, I'm sharing the screen again. Hope my screen is visible. Okay, uh, this uh, after connecting uh, to the Postgres, so slash L is the command which I am giving. Okay, uh, Rajesh, is the recording going on or not? Ah uh, yes, okay. So slash l, so slash l used to see all the list of uh, database. Okay, so slash l is uh, see here a w b a m l book. See these are all the database which I have created. So n m d b class is the database which we have created two days before. Hope you guys remember that. So now I'm going to connect a uh, connect with that database. So in order to connect with that database, what I should do is slash c is the command to connect with any database. Slash c, okay, slash c, and this is the database name. So just copy paste it and click enter. Now you can see, see here, you can see the database name here. Previously, I have connected to the database name called as a Postgres. Now I have connected to the nmdb class is my database name okay so now i am what i'm going to do is now i'm going to hope my font and okay well, hope my font size is okay okay now, now what i'm going to do is <coughs> so i i just want to create a table okay so what is the syntax to create the table so create table table name so here i'm typing just uh, see create create table is the keyword create table is the keyword here table name table name okay so your own table name whatever it may be and inside that you need to give columns columns so column one and data type okay similarly column two column two and its data type so data types is nothing but var care uh, numeric 
um so date uh, so these are all the data types so basic data types which we are uh, uh, going to deal with uh, the postgres okay so let me tell you uh, in the upcoming classes about the data types and all so for now uh, just keep it in mind where care is used to store variable character so where, where care is nothing but used to store both the uh, uh, the the uh, not the number type it will it will store the uh, string type data okay so you can able to store that kind of uh, data okay so similarly you can add any number of uh, columns here with the data type so it will after giving this uh, query it will create one table for you okay just a physical structure before getting into the, before uh, you are loading your data into the postgres you need to create the table with that same column name okay create table you can see here create table book details book id so what are all the columns i had in the uh, book details table so book id title kindle ebook jenner and author so the same thing which i have given here in the same order okay okay any doubt please uh, let me know uh, in the chat box you can put it in the chat box okay uh for any doubts okay so for any no doubts i am moving forward so what i'm going to do next is using the copy command copy table name name okay i'm going to type the syntax for this copy command slash copy is my command and here table name okay this table name represent what, what what table you are going to copy so whether you are going to copy it from the local to your uh, postgres or from postgres to your local okay to your local drive now what i am going to do is i am going to copy the lo, uh, the data set which is inside my local drive okay i have kept inside this path e colon book details dot csv i have kept this uh, book details dot csv inside the e drive okay after that um, this is the uh, um, uh, table name which you have created in your database okay this is the table name you can see it here this is the database which you have created book details book where care title everything so all these columns which you have created here all these columns column numbers should match with the thing which you are going to give here okay it should match exact match book id title kindle so i am telling about the number of columns 1 2 3 4 5 so and the, if it contain uh, six columns here then it uh, uh, in your table also the, the table which you have created it should contain the six columns okay <clears throat> so here i am going to copy so this is the table name and its columns columns and then from where i'm going to copy this from where i'm going to copy this so this is the path okay from path this is the path and delimiter what is mean by delimiter delimiter is nothing but i'm going to separate the data set okay here is the first one second column third column for each column i have given comma as my delimiter okay comma as my delimiter delimiter is nothing but uh, the the uh, thing which separates the two column so i have used comma here whether you can use a space also okay whether it can be a space or comma you can use it as a delimiter and that i have specified here and here csv header in the sense yes it contain the header header in uh, header means this book id title so my first row is my header okay so these are all the details which i need to mention while copying the csv file into your database okay so i am copying this into my database see you can see here i have copied it contains 86 rows and it copied all the 86 rows okay the first thing i want to see the structure of the table which i have created okay for that you need to use slash d d is nothing but to describe my table <clears throat> what is my table name book details it 
will show you the structure of your table the physical structure of your table it's nothing but a physical structure of your table book id this is the column name which i have given and character varying is the data type for this similarly title kindle ebook everything is a character varying okay this is the data type which you have given for the each column <coughs> so after inserting the data after copying all the csv into my data database table i want to see the data <clears throat> inside the database table so what should i do i should give the select query select star star means nothing but to uh, select everything select all the columns see i have given the six columns here so star means everything all the i want uh, to see all the six columns okay select star from table name what is my table name book details okay book details is my table name select star from book details that's it you can see or uh, it will display all the columns and all the rows all the columns all the 86 columns and all the rows here so this is what the select star from query will do okay <coughs> so next thing i want to splice the data <coughs> I want to splice the data up to the 10 rows. Okay. I want to see only 10 rows is enough for me. Okay. Just uh, 10 rows is enough for me. I uh, just want to see whether it has uh, uh, installed, uh, whether it has uh, uh, um, uh, the, all the data are copied correctly or not. I just want to check. So just the first 10 rows alone. So for that, you have to use a limit, limit keyword. Okay. Limit okay limit 10 so select star from book details star means it will select all the six column but it select only the 10 rows okay now you can see the select so it, uh, it selected only the first 10 rows okay so next thing is I want to select them only the book ID and title. I don't want anything. I want to select only the book ID and title from the book details. Okay. So for that, select book ID, comma, title. Okay. So you can view what are all the columns you need to see here. Okay. Instead of star, I'm giving the column names from book details. Okay. So here after that, whether I want to see all the records or limited number of records. Okay. So for now, I want to see only first 10 records. First 10, first 20, you can make it as per your wish. Okay. So here, see, see here, first 10 records, okay, first 10 records has come with the column book ID and title, okay. So this is the way which you can able to splice your uh, uh, whole data set into rows and columns, okay. You can able to slice over it. So for now, we have seen how to select all the all the records from the table and limited number of records from the table and only limited number of columns from the table with the limited number of records. So these are all the queries which we have seen today. Okay. And what I'm going to do is next, um, do you have any doubts regarding to this or shall I proceed further? Do we have any doubts? Please put it in the chat box or uh, say yes or no or thumbs up or anything okay no doubts for hari prasad and what about others <clears throat> okay if you have any doubts just put it in the chat box and please try to work parallelly with me okay if you have installed the postgres just uh, uh, try to work from today onwards practice is very much important okay 
So for now, we have seen the specific columns, limit, and what is meant by star and slash d and slash d plus. Okay, for slash d plus is nothing but it will give some extra information regarding to the size and all. Okay, uh, book details. It will give the, you can see the, see, storage uh, uh, description. So all the things, extra information about. Uh, simply, if you give slash d, it will give uh, some limited information and this uh, plus slash d is uh, it will give some extra information about the storage size and all okay about the data set uh, this is a physical structure of the data set we which we have created and uh, what about next thing is with we are going to see some simple example with some condition okay simple queries with some conditions with this condition, uh, I will wind up the class and will give you some exercise regarding to that. You have to create a table and you need to do some exercises, okay? So next condition, what is the next condition is, okay, let me see the table now, okay? I will see, look upon the table, okay? This is my uh, table and sample. I want to uh, see only the books which are, uh, which the, uh, which are, uh, uh, available in Kindle. So, what is the condition? Kindle should be yes. Okay. My data set should not contain, uh, my selection should not contain no. Okay. Should, uh, should, con uh, it should contain only yes. So, what I should do is select star. Star means yes, I want all the column. Okay. Select star from which data say uh, which table books okay book details book details okay select star from book details with what condition where kindle i need to type the column name kindle equal to kindle should be equal to what it should be yes. See, in order to give the values inside the database, in order to uh, give values inside the particular table, I should use the single quote, okay, in order to give the values. So, you can see here now, all the, uh, it, it filtered, you have used the filter option in the excel have you remember the filter option which we have used in the uh, excel so the same thing same thing i have used in the query form okay by using the var class using the var class i have used the filter it is similar to the filter option which we have used in the excel so i have filtered all the kindle which is available okay Oh, sorry, all the books which is available in the Kindle, which means yes, I have selected the yes option alone. Okay. So, what about the young adult? I want to filter the Kindle books, the books what are all available in the Kindle and also with the uh, young adult. For young adult, what are all the books available in the Kindle? This is my question. Okay. So what I'm going to write is for young adult books available in the Kindle. Okay, this is the question. So for this question, I'm going to form a query. Select star from what is my uh, book? Uh, what is my table name? Book details book details where kindle equal to yes kindle equal to yes and what is the column name there jenner g e n r e g e n r e equal to equal to young adult right and in order to make sure that I didn't make any spelling mistake, I'm just copy pasting it, okay? Because we can, we might miss the space and all, okay? 
So you can see there are only so these many books, only four books are available. Uh, for the Kindle edition, there are only four books available in this journal. Okay. So you can use the and condition. So I will, uh, in the upcoming classes, I will let you know about and, or, and all, all the conditions for now. If you want to achieve this both, okay, the, I have given the both, uh, I have given the two conditions. It should be, yeah, Jenner uh, column should be young adult and Kindle uh, column should be yes. So in order to achieve this both condition, I have used and condition, okay, and, and operator. So uh, by using this and, I can able to achieve this both condition true, okay. So this is the simple select query with the filter filter where okay filter option which we have seen in the excel filter where okay it will filter the data set what are the condition you have given uh, in the left side in the right side it will filter accordingly so hope you guys got my point and uh, it is clear or not do you have any doubts please let me know until this point and after this, I will give you the poll question and exercises, okay? Please let me know for any doubts. So, yes, for today, I'm closing this uh, lecturing part and I will continue with the poll session and exercise, okay? Rajesh, we can stop the recording. Rajesh.